Time now for our crypto report, and the usually volatile Bitcoin has gotten stuck trading within a narrow range ahead of the Fed's annual Jackson Hole meeting later this week, hovering around $21,600. Mike Alfred, board member of the Bitcoin miner Iris Energy and the crypto-focused investment firm Eagle Brook Advisors, talked to Kaylee Lines on the Bloomberg Crypto Show, show earlier to talk about the market's impact on Bitcoin mining. It's certainly been a difficult uh, time, and I was with a bunch of the miners in Miami about a month ago now, and you know the, the mood's a little darker. Uh, the Bitcoin price being under twenty thousand obviously isn't good for anyone because profitability tends to flip negative uh, for a lot of the large miners around those levels. Um, you know the cost of machines has gone down though, so if you're a buyer of machines here, uh, you know you're getting a much better price than you were a year ago. Um, and energy prices, while they're going up, they could certainly um, you know be held down a little bit by by macro uncertainty, at least in the U.S. where there's sort of an oversupply. Uh, of energy. So I, I actually believe just based on the hash ribbons, which is a metric that looks at the 30 day moving average of the global hash rate uh, relative to the 60 day, it just flipped positive uh, again in the last week, right after being negative since sort of uh, some point during July. Um, I actually think the capitulation phase is over. There were miners that were literally buying Bitcoin at 40,000 and then they puked that Bitcoin back into the market at 20. Mm -hmm. um, I think that speaks to, you know, the general strategy that people should have around their balance sheet. Here, I think there's two strategies that sort of work well. One is just selling your Bitcoin every day, the way Iris Energy does, and and that way you can grow uh, just out of cash flow. Or uh, like HUD eight, just holding the Bitcoin indefinitely, but using equity and debt strategically, and not taking on too much debt, and then growing at a reasonable speed. Uh, so that you don't get caught at the wrong part of the cycle flat-footed. We think that in mid-September, the merge may finally happen. Ethereum will move from proof of work to proof of stake. How does the upcoming merge affect your view on how you want to be investing in, in these kinds of companies? Well, I think the, the Bitcoin-only um, you know, miners are always going to be a good bet. Because if you believe in a decentralized, a truly decentralized monetary system, it will not function uh, properly under a proof of stake model. So as much as Ethereum could be an interesting currency for doing NFTs or mm. right, do, doing DeFi or whatever, um, it's not going to be the same thing that Bitcoin is if, if it moves off of proof of work. And so uh, I don't think it changes anything with the thesis. Like if, if people want to speculate uh, on NFTs, right, that, that doesn't bother me one bit. I'm a free market capitalist. But if you want to own a truly hard asset with a supply cap, that cannot be disrupted, that cannot be sort of taken over uh, by any one party, you kind of need to stick with proof of work. And therefore, I think Bitcoin mining, at least uh, again in North America, has a great future.